guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I wanted to come back on and do another two-page 12 by 12 Easter scrapbook layout. And these papers, all of these papers except for the solid colors, came from this paper stack from Echo Park, and it's entitled East Easter by Alicia Whitcomb. And I still have a few pieces left, not a lot, but some, and some of the stickers. And I even used a couple of the stickers in this layout. So let's get started. What I have here is a piece of gray cardstock that's 12 by 12, and I just inked around it in blue ink. And then I have a pink piece here with all of the Easter words on it that comes from that paper stack. It's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I inked around it as well. I inked around the gray in blue. I inked around the pink in pink ink. And then I have these really cute scalloped borders at the top and the bottom. And uh, these two images come from the Cricut Cartridge Winter Frolic. It had trees attached to it. I just deleted the trees all off. And I cut the scallops at 11 and a half by 2.77 inches and then I inked around those in vintage photo for both of those and and I thought that carrot paper was fun and cute and I wanted to use it so that's what I've done now all the rest of my images comes from a cut file that I bought from Marjorie and designs and um, I'll leave that link in the description box below if I don't forget if I do remind me and I will go back and edit the description box below so this um, layout is pictures with the Easter Bunny so my first image that I'm gonna lay down is the Easter Bunny sitting in his big chair and he turned out so freaking cute I think and I have cut um, they come together it's one cut file so um, the rabbit and the chair together is cut at 6.54 inches by 7.40 inches I've got the arms of the chair popped up on thumb tape and then everything else is laid down flat and I'm gonna lay the bunny down flat in the chair in just a moment and you'll see I have used more of that paper stack as you can see the back and uh, paper got it all paper pieced together here and um, I'm gonna pull the backing off my foam tape I've got this section on two layers of foam tape the part that's already attached to the chair is our is only on one layer of foam tape because I felt like the arms were kind of getting lost and popping it up on two layers here made it not get lost so I thought that was cool and then the other thing that I did if you see this layer down here it's checks instead of polka dots that's actually washi tape that I wanted to use so that's what I did <laughs> So these are this is already laid down. So now I'm just going to lay down put my chair down. So there we go. Now I'm just going to lay my rabbit down flat too. And all of these images are paper pieced. When it's not paper pieced, I will let you know because I think I did a couple of print and cuts. I'll, when I get to my other images, I will let you know if I did or not. <laughs> so, there we go. Now I gotta get him here in the chair. cute right <laughs> and then my 
next image or my next item is my photo mat again it comes from the same uh, paper sack I did ink around the, the green uh, checked layer the background layer it is six and a half by four and a half I inked around it in vintage photo and then the other pretty pastel the yeah, geometric I guess design I inked around in pink and it is a quarter of an inch smaller at six and a quarter by four and a quarter I'm going to lay it down flat as well and I'm going to put it right about there And then my next image is my title, and it's Easter. And my title actually came with a little rabbit and chick. I pulled the, the rabbit off and didn't use the rabbit, but I did use the chick a little differently. And I'll show you that on the next page. And I've got my uh, title here popped up on foam tape. <coughs> Pardon me. I still have my cough that is lingering, unfortunately. And so I want to get this down right. So I'm going to fiddle with this for a minute. And um, the rabbit that came with this title was actually behind the S and T in Easter. So when I cut it, I cut the rabbit too. I just decided not to use the rabbit. And um, so my title is cut at 8.07 by 3.04, and that included the rabbit, not the chick, but the rabbit. And that looks pretty even to me. I think I'm going to stand up so I can see if it really is. And it is. I'm liking the way that looks. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull out my Glade Press and Seal. And I'm just going to rip off a piece of that because I like the way that it is. And I don't want to have to worry about lining it up again. So I just laid that over top of my layout here and now I'm just going to press the letters on because one side slightly sticky and see how it all came off. That's how I do, that's how I always use my press and seal. So now only thing I have to do is pull the foam tape off here. Oh, it takes up so much time pulling off this foam tape. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, we'll see if I can figure out how to fast forward through this because you don't need to see it. And if I can, awesome. If not, maybe not so awesome. Okay, got all of that off. Now I've got it still laid down here. And as long as I just lay it down easy, to start with so I get it all lined up. I'm not going to worry about whether I want to press it down or not. Okay, that looks really good for placement. So now I'm just going to press in the foam tape in and press it down. And now I can just pull off my layer of Glide Press and Seal. That's how I use it all the time. The best crafty supply I might have. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys use it too. So, that's the first page of this two-page two, uh, layout. So, let me set that one to the side. Let me bring in my next page. And it's done exactly the same way. <coughs> I do apologize, this cough is still hanging on, big time hanging on. So, I do feel a whole lot better. Got another 4x6 photo mat, done exactly the same way. Just 
going to pop some adhesive on here. And I'm going to put this right up here, kind of to the top and middle of my layout. So that's great. Then I have a little boy. This still comes from the same cut file. Uh, my little boy is cut at 4.48 inches wide by 7.12 inches high. And uh, I did a little bit of doodling and I inked around some of the things. He's holding a little Easter egg and a little Peeps rabbit in his little paws. I think he turned out really cute. I did pop the Peep Rabbit's part up on foam tape because I wanted it to stand out a little bit because his shirt is yellow too and I um, wanted the peep to stand out and I just ran out of tape of course I should have checked before I started this so let me uh, pause the video here for just a second so I can change my tape sorry about that guys Sorry again, but I got it changed. I got tape in it, and I'm going to put my little boy right down here at the bottom. Oh, I forgot to peel the backing off my rabbit part. <laughs> got to do that or he won't stay. Okay, got that done. And see how cute that looks with it popped up? It really gave it something when they were both yellow. Okay. And then my next image is the little chick. And my little chick is cut at 3.03 by 3.95. And I used one of the carrot stickers to put in his little paw from the paper stack. Did a little bit of doodling on him as well. And now I am going to lay him down flat as well. And I'm going to put him right down here. Cute. And then I have a little girl holding an Easter basket. And I did do print and cut on the little Easter basket. And then she's got on her cute little rabbit ears. I did a little bit of doodling on her as well. And she is going to go right down here. And I'm trying to determine what I don't want to put glue on. Don't want to put any, any adhesive on that ear. This is so. Now, now we know how to proceed with this. And my little girl is cut at 4.56 inches wide by 7.30 inches high. She's going to go right here. So perfect. A simple, easy layout to put together. The paper piecing um, was a lot <laughs> of paper piecing, but it did go together really cute and very easily. So I hope you guys enjoyed this layout and give it a try yourself. So thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my channel and an amendous thanks for comments and thumbs up and shares. I really appreciate that. We'll talk again real soon. Cheers.